Now, in the investigation, the drug tests were falsified in Lawrence County, and those tests caused some families to be torn apart. Our Brianna Smith broke this story. She has new exclusive details right now. Brianna. Well, Amy, through a records request, we obtained emails from inside the Lawrence County DSS office, which show concerns after their director revealed drug tests may be falsified. But even more so, we learned that even though DSS says they don't have a way to verify those third-party drug tests, they should have been able to view them the whole time. A picture from 2013 shows business owner Lynn Craig and staff at a ribbon cutting for accurate diagnostics. The business branch now closed and a contract cut with DSS. This really is unprecedented. This is something that we have never faced as an agency. DSS believes that Lynn Craig was creating fake test results on hair samples that should have been sent to a third party testing facility in Ohio. Test results that showed possibly fake positive results that would split families. It gets very frustrating as a defense attorney to have to tell your client, well, you got it somehow. You know, you, you must have been hanging out with the wrong people or, you know, you've been getting it secondhand smoke or some, some other way because the tests don't lie. That's usually what we say. Well, now I can't say that because we, here we have a, a situation where the tests do lie. Through a records request, we got these emails from Lawrence County DSS Director Byron Dendy telling caseworkers to stop using accurate diagnostics of Lawrence in October of last year, meaning they could not drug test families in the field, which raised questions for one caseworker, like how would they be able to assess the safety of a child overnight if the parent would have to wait to drug test till the next day, showing two possible results. A lot of kids being placed into foster care immediately or children being left in a possible dangerous situation. But how could this have been prevented? You may remember DSS told us they have no way to independently verify test results on a regular basis. We have to rely on the information provided to us by our drug testing providers. Accurate Diagnostics tells us that's not true. Through these secure web portals, Accurate Diagnostics says every DSS county office they work with has direct access and a chain of custody for every test any hour of the day. The company believes Lynn Craig may have never set it up, meaning DSS didn't check once in over two years. A lot of information coming out of that story today. We checked with DSS because that caseworker said, you know, we're worried that a lot of these families are going to go into foster care immediately. They said they saw no uptick during this time after they cut ties with Lawrence County Accurate Diagnostics. I mean, look, families are at stake in this story. So even if one parent had their kid taken away in an unjust way. That's a huge deal. Is there any evidence that happened? Well, we have one lawsuit that's claiming just that. Now, DSS is saying that the first drug test that they take is a urine sample, and that in all of these cases, they believe that the urine sample was accurate before the hair sample, but it was taken by the same woman who they're claiming wow. falsified these documents. So we're just not sure it's going to have to come out in the lawsuit. There's a lot more to talk about yeah. with this, Brianna. Thanks. Thank you.